This morning, we're following through on our reporting on medical marijuana. We recently did a story about how medical marijuana is being authorized for use for small children in Florida living with an illness. And now the FDA is saying the drug should be classified differently to better protect patients. Here's our Anthony Hill with more. The FDA released a report saying that marijuana does have a legitimate use for medical purposes and recommending to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency to change the drug's classification from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3. So why do you think they came to that conclusion that it's not appropriate to have it as a Schedule 1 drug? Because the definition of a Schedule 1 drug says has no health benefits to it. And so obviously there's been plenty of research that has documented the multitudes of ways that, med that cannabis can be helpful. Though not all in the medical community agree, many people swear by the medicinal effects of marijuana to help treat symptoms of cancer, anxiety, PTSD, and epilepsy. So it's no longer appropriate to say that there's no medical benefit when there's hundreds, if not thousands of medical studies that show the opposite. As a Schedule One drug, marijuana is in the same category as some of the hardest drugs like heroin and LSD, which means it's classified as being more dangerous than fentanyl and methamphetamine. So what happens after this? What happens after this is the federal government has more decisions to make as to what they're going to next, what their next move is. The Department of Health and Human Services formally recommended that the DEA reschedule marijuana to Schedule 3 in August of last year, after the Biden administration asked them to review how the drug is classified under federal law. Earlier this year, Senate Democrats urged Biden to deschedule the drug entirely, meaning you would not need a doctor's authorization to use marijuana. In Tampa, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.